Who is that? Who is that? Front and center on Vulture Magazine. I'm in Vulture Magazine. Okay, it's like a vault. It's like a online um, culture portion of New York. Um, why is there an advertisement? I signed up for this already. There should be no advertisement. But anyways, yes, if you go now, I'll link it below. Um, Vulture did an interview with me, um, Rebecca Jennings. Um, it was really cool. I did a Skype interview and they asked me to new house and did a photo shoot. And it says, the title is Confessions of a 30 year old drama queen. And I was like, oh my God, me? Me? Do I have a Lindsay Lohan reference? Oh my God, yes. Um, yeah. So I'm very, very excited. I actually haven't even, I skimmed the article. I haven't read it yet because obviously, but already from the beginning, I was like super excited with the way she wrote it. I feel so honored that they wanted to write this like, freaking article about me but i'm on the home page right now so walk don't run <laughs> um okay i'm already okay there oh so cool they have my pink couch um confessions of a 30 year old drama queen no one is speaking up which is great as youtube's most frightening entertaining star um i don't know if that's like a diss but I, I take it as like no one can keep up with me because i'm just so in your face <laughs> i'm so excited um yeah this is a really long article like i said in an interview i did a whole like three hour zoom interview it says within seconds trisha paytas has already managed to shock me she's in full la influencer drag platinum water extensions baby pink acrylics cut crease smoky eye and a stiff plump beige pout love that thanks see in the kitchen of her still mostly empty five bedroom not okay, shade but also in true um where everything is white and tan she looks so normal and then she opens her mouth paytas is <laughs> her up her current obsession with adam sandler um, I said I want to be him. I'm sure in six months I'm going to be someone else. <laughs> hey, Adam Sandler got the shout out. Um, this is really cool. I'm really excited. Sorry, I'm like so hyped because we, we, I drove like two and a half hours to get these cheese dippers from Taco Bell that are only available at this one Orange County location. But I also had a facial, and I also had to get back because freaking Scott Sire trying to victim shame Seth and like trying to put the blame on like the victims of a situation with David and Jason that he had nothing to do with. I went off. I did a whole rant about it on my second channel. I know a lot of you are probably like, who? Yeah, exactly. But it just it made my blood boil because he was literally like invalidating these people's feelings by saying David and Jason are like the nicest people in the world. That's your experience, Scott. Anyways, I digress. I'm on Vulture today. Um, <laughs> So, YouTubers, most of whom, she is among the handful of YouTubers, most of whom either hate each other or at least pretend to, um, have necessitated the formation of an entire drama channel, cottage industry devoted to explain their constantly functioning relationships of her divisive peers. You mentioned people, none, doesn't matter. Paytas, the in enigmatic, big boobed bimbo. Oh, okay, kind of love, like, it's kind of like edgy and saucy. Maybe they're not being nice to me. I don't know, I feel like it's nice. I'm, I'm just, I like anybody talking to me. Is the most self-aware sense of the word in the most South Florida since it's by far the most compelling. Ah, oh, most compelling. They named Jane, Jeffrey, James, Tana, and Nick. I mean, that's obvious. I'm just not, I'm just not an asshole either. That inverts what profession is. Um... Oh, for the best sense of how famous Paytas is, simply go find the nearest teenager and ask them. <laughs> but if we're talking numbers and then they list out the numbers. Um... The fun of being Paytas' followers is in everything from discovering what she's wearing that morning to who she's mad at this week. Or feuding. Oh, this one's really pretty. This one was really funny. We shot this outside. <laughs> that was the photographer's idea. It's really pretty. That my new house too, and I'm like so excited. It's like really cool. I had really I had bum ass hair and makeup that day. Um Paytas is infectiously bubbly and at times insecure to the point of making you feel a little bit sorry for her. <laughs> Whether that's her goal is a question that never leaves your mind. Um, well, I, I uh, I don't expect anyone to feel sorry for me because it's like I just I, I I just assume everyone hates me. Um, so this whole turnaround of people like liking me all of a sudden, I know it doesn't last forever, so I'm just enjoying it while I can. But also, I'm just insecure. <laughs> but also, I don't care. I just got like a place full of zits, and that's just like what you're getting today. <sighs> um, they talk about my psych psychiatric colds and about like teens. Um, yeah, it's like oh so cute. Oh, I look so happy there. Look how happy. Thirty-two year old drama queen. That girl was a one time. I have a facial too, so if you're wondering why I'm talking so fast, I have to like get home for a facial. I had to also upload these videos. There's just like never. There's no rest for. It. Oh my god! And then there was a TikToker today named Markel coming for me. I guess he has like six million followers and he's friends with like other TikTokers. And I was like, why are you coming for me? And then everything was slander. If you want to see that, go to my TikTok, Trish Like Fish eighty eight. I kind of had to like debunk everything because he literally like slandered me so many times in that. And I was just like, you really don't know your facts telling me that like if I focused more on my craft, I could be as successful as Jeffrey Star. <laughs> Jeffrey's miserable. And he's like the most miserable person I've ever met. Ever obviously everyone knows that. Like he wouldn't have to talk like shit about people. Like I was his friend. I wanted absolutely nothing from him, never talked shit about him, and he just he just shit it on me. That's because he's miserable. So I would never want to. And also he's like, Trisha, you could be a millionaire too. Uh, money doesn't rate success, but also, hi, I'm in a $4 million house. And hi, I just bought my mom a million dollar house. And hi, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even equal success, but whatever. <laughs> so it goes into detail about the stuff, but I didn't mention Moses. 
These are really cute too. I love these. They did like a little like photo album thing. I'm gonna link below, but thank you, Vulture, so much. I was so excited. Oh, there's one of me and Moses made it. <laughs> so fun. We just did like a bunch of stuff around like the furniture we did have. Although, oh my god, it's so cute. This one's so cute too. I gotta post it on my Instagram. Anyways, um, we did it in the thing. Thank you, Vulture. I'm gonna link you below. That was really cool. I'm gonna like actually sit down and read it. But we actually did move in. We're getting a new couch, but we have this temporary because we were literally sitting literally on beanbags. So embarrassing. Like, who are we? So we brought this from the old house today. That was very exciting. I filmed the Taco Bell cheese dip thing, but all this drama has just taken over. I don't think anybody even cares about the cheese dip drama anymore at Taco Bell. But that one's really pretty, actually, the Bentley, because I just smashed the Bentley. <laughs> That's also on my vlog channel. <sighs> Wait, is it possible to take Trisha out of word that she's changed and she's trying and that she's sorry for someone who has documented an abnormally large portion of her life for more than a decade? It would be unreasonable to demand perfect consistency of thought, but Paytas wouldn't be herself if she weren't altering herself as nearly constantly. The cynical part of her knows her audience and the rest of Yollywood will indulge her whims and make excuses for her more despicable behaviors, not worse on the grounds that she lets us ride along on the roller coaster of her mind. <laughs> Fair enough. It is the privilege of people gifted with undeniable magnetism who are also willing to expose the ugliest part of themselves. Or to use a term more closely associated with Trump to say the quiet parts out loud. It's the same part of her that knows people on the internet don't actually care if you see outrageous things as long as you're keeping them entertained. Ah. <laughs> cool. Besides, there's just something about Paytas that feels beyond the current moment. You start to get the sense that this is a woman who, no matter what period of history you drop her into, would find a way to get famous or at least make enough trouble to get people talking. This is really sweet. I like the article. I think it goes back and forth. I think it's really nice. The pictures turn out absolutely beautiful. Thank you so, so much, um, New York Magazine and um Rebecca for even think I'm that interesting to be honest like I I am very thankful I do realize that people are kind of like you know fucking with me right now which is good you know like they in a good way like seeing a different part of me and I'm really thankful for that obviously now everything goes in ways I'm not perfect and I just keep doing this because I love it and honestly like I go through bouts of people not caring and I still do it so thank you guys for sticking with me I love you I love Adam Sandler check out Vulture I'll link it below and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video <laughs> bye guys